In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a reusable stencil using your Cricut. I'm gonna do a fun accent wall in our camper, which we recently renovated, and I will have the video down in the description box below. This is such a easy way to get an accent wall look using your Cricut, so let's get started. I wanna thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a reusable stencil and today I will be using my Cricut Maker. So for the stencil, I found this three pack of show off stencil blanks from Hobby Lobby. This is great because it'll give us the sturdiness we need for a reusable stencil. You can also go online and see the different stencil blanks that they have on Hobby Lobby. They have a few different sizes, all really budget friendly, as well as going on Amazon. They have a variety of different stencil blanks. You can make stencils with the Cricut using vinyl, but I definitely recommend if you want a sturdy reusable stencil, to use a stencil blank that has a little bit more weight to it because it will hold up when you paint. So in Design Space, if you type in stencil, you get a lot of different pre-made images and I went with a more kind of modern boho look in our camper. So when I found this simple X stencil, I knew that would be perfect for this project. So I went ahead, unlocked it and sized it. I thought it would be good to work with a stencil that's about a nine by nine. But again, depending on the surface you will be applying your stencil to will depend the size that you make it. Now I just want to show you how sturdy the stencil show off is. I'm bending it here and it definitely holds up well, which is what I want for our stencil wall. So I am going to use the standard grit mat, add this to my Cricut, and I always like to cut everything on my phone. I just find it more convenient. And I made sure that for this, I used the corrugated cardboard setting as well as a harder or more pressure setting for the blade. Since this is a thick material, you want to make sure that when the Cricut makes its cuts, it cuts through. And I will put that either up on the screen or down in the description box below. In case you wanna recreate this project, just remember you are going to have to play with the settings a bit just to make sure that everything cuts through. Once all the excess is weeded, it is time to use our stencil. So I thought it would be fun to add this to the wall of our camper and I love this print, so that is what I'm gonna do today for this video. So of course you're going to need your stencil. I recommend using some masking or painter's tape and then whatever paint you have. Now originally I was gonna use a regular sponge, but I decided to cut a piece off of a Dollar Tree Magic Eraser sponge. It's a way flatter sponge and it makes sure that the paint goes on evenly without bleeding. So if you see in the original side on the left, I did use a regular kind of thick sponge and it made for a much thicker X and it did bleed a little bit. So again, a smooth sponge and even something like a magic eraser would work great like I'm doing here. And you just want to have just enough paint on your sponge, not too much, and then you're gonna lightly press. And I kind of make sure that as I'm using my stencil, I hold my hand and kind of put pressure near where I'm painting just so that the stencil does not come up. Even though you use tape, the stencil can come up sometimes. So you wanna make sure you lightly press around where you're applying the paint so that the paint distributes evenly and you don't have any smudging. So here is what the first section looks like. I think this looks so fun. And since I did use a design that was already in the design space, I went again with a nine by nine cutout, but all of the X's were already evenly distributed. So I found that lining everything up was really easy and that is what helped me this stencil look like it was something I got in the store. So I definitely appreciated that and this worked up really quick. Now another tip I have, I'm using some regular 
regular apple barrel matte acrylic paint in jet black. I would use a faster drying paint when using a stencil. You just want to make sure that everything dries quickly so that when you're moving the stencil around, you don't get any smudges. Now I did notice on this show off, there was a thin layer of kind of like a film. You're going to want to make sure you peel that off. It didn't affect the way that my stencil turned out, but I did want to share that because I noticed that as I was applying the stencil and I didn't notice that at first. And as you can see here, I have my AirPods in as I always do while I am stenciling and I love podcasts. So if anyone has some good podcast suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I always love downloading some new podcasts. Now, ideally, it would be way easier to remove this little hook that we have here in the bathroom, but that's not always what you want to do when you just want to get a quick project done, and that is exactly what this stenciling project was super quick. This took me under an hour to do. So what was nice about this design was that there were spacings in it, so I was able to kind of maneuver it around this hook and make sure that I had the pattern continuing. So I did find that really helpful with this design. And again, I got this in the Cricut Design Space. And there you have it. For under $5, I was able to make this really fun accent wall for our camper. This would look great in a camper, your house, wherever you want to add a fun accent, or even in your home decor just on a canvas using the Cricut, you're able to make a really easy, quick, reusable stencil. I hope that you found this video helpful and I really enjoyed making this stencil and I definitely plan on making some more. It's a great way to put your Cricut to use and add some fun accents to your home decor. Like I said, we recently did a RV renovation video and I will also have that in the link below. I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I also want to thank you for taking the time out of your day for watching my video. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and turn on that notification bell. So you know, every time I upload a new video, I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.